Yeah. All right, top of the morning to you. This is WWJ Whipping with Joe. Ah, anyway, we're going to watch sunrise here. We're, gonna, literally, we're talking story, so I'm just going to get up here and see the sunrise. Um, uh, we're, not, we're, we're, we're not whipping today, uh, but I thought I'd make a, make a video. Anyway, top of the morning to you. This is WWJ Whipping with Joe. We thank you very much for watching my videos, uh, making your comments, and sharing me your, your fish that you've caught. Uh, some of you have used my technique, some of you not, but it's okay. You need to get out though, you know. You need to get out. Only for a short time. Can't wait for Saturday. You just gotta go whenever you get time. Short, short stunt. Like me, sometimes I just throw 10 and I'm, I'm already done my 10. <laughs> that's what I say sometimes. You know, you can see me fishing my dress clothes and all that, but that's okay. Like I said, it's all quick and fast. More times you go, chances improve. But I thought I'd share this with you. I mean, you know, I've been posting a lot about this toadfish. This is the combo. Uh, 7 2, medium heavy, uh, 10 to 30 braid, 1 fourth to 1 ounce weight. And uh, it's a combo, it's got come with a 3000, 7.2 medium heavy. But uh, I like the way this is on the top. And the reason is you can you can put the 6K on top of here. But uh, you put a 6K here a little too big, especially for a 40 pound braid. But I haven't tried it yet. but. I thought I should have you. Okay, this is a two piece. So, I like it here because uh, this is almost like the, the 610 that I started using way back in 2012. Somewhere around there. But this is a 3000 reel. And uh, I, I, I like this combo. And, uh, you know, I've been using Fenix for a long time. I mean, a lot of different routes, but I ended up with a Fenwick, of course. That was introduced to me by Jeff Conn by tw in 2012. But what I learned about this rod is number one, it's, it's, it's very easy to use, very light, you know, but it says it's about nine ounces. The Fenwick is about five ounces. It's uh, more backbone. If you don't have tape, if it's very small, you can see here, like very tiny. Um, it bends a lot, although it's rated a medium heavy. I, I feel this is a medium compared to a Fenwick. Uh, it's got a lot of bend to it. So when you got, got a fish, it's uh, harder to do the set the hook because the, the jaws are, are, are stiffer jaws for, for saltwater fish. Uh, but it does work. Uh, but you, like I said, uh, you, you, you've got to like, you got to crank down to the fish, you got to really pull. Because like I said, you got to pull more than uh, a regular medium heavy rod that I'm used to. Uh, because the fish will not come. You, you're going to have to just, you, it's almost like an ugly stick, it just depends a lot. But uh, anyway, uh, <clears throat> I use this uh, 3000. Uh, I got eight pound mono. I mean, you see the videos I've, I've, I've been using. It's been it's a fun little reel, fun little setup for small game, especially because it's a two piece, like I said. But anyway, what happened was when I was whipping, what I learned was um, can't see it, but the picture of the video shows it. Right over here, there were grooves. Right over here, they had about like maybe four grooves, and the line was actually snagging in there. And uh, it don't happen too much on reels, but this one is this is what happened. Okay, it was cutting in there. And then, so what I did was I went and emailed um, Toadfish, and I, I, I told him what I needed, you know. And, uh, well, yeah, let's say that, yeah. But anyway, so uh, I, I, need, I needed this bale, and I took this out to see what was inside, you know, just in case I had to buy the bale and, and these other parts. I, I probably would, I, I ordered whatever was inside here and this. But basically what I did was when I took the screw out here and pulled this off, you know, there's only two parts. There's a line roller here and a bushing. I mean, simplest design that I've ever seen in 80 reels. I mean, the most I had is like maybe seven parts in this, right in this smaller gully here. And uh, it poses a problem when there's a whole bunch of parts because, you know, corrosion getting there, salt, and then, then you get, get line, line roller problems. But this one here, it's a bushing and the line roller, and that is it. Very simple design, whoever. Anyway, but good job, Toadfish. Anyway, now, I told him I wanted this, and then I wanted the two parts. Gave him the part number, and uh, Jackie re replied, um, was it damaged when I got it? I said, no, it was damaged. You know, I used it a couple of times, and, the, you know, the lines got in there. So I, what happened was she had talked to the supervisor, whatever the case would be. And, you know, and what she told me was, you know what, forget about the parts. <laughs> Guess what? Send me a brand new one in the box, gang. 
I like that, eh? I mean, this is what you call service, man. Service with a warranty with a... Hey, man, I'm, you know, hey, Jackie, man, thank you very much. I mean, you hook me up. I mean, really. Toadfish. Congrats, Toadfish. By the way, this Toadfish company, uh, uh, replenished oyster beds, by the way. Pretty funny little name, though, like I said. But anyway, it came in. So, instead of giving me another one, they gave me another reel. Uh, not too many companies do this. So I got a new one. How do you like that? Huh? New one in the box. So what I did about last night, I put some mono in there. Eight pound mono. Because I'm going to field test this thing. <laughs> but then I thought I'd share it with you. I mean, if you're interested in one of these reels, but I mean, it's pretty neat. I, I think so, man. But uh, congratulate Toadfish for a, a, a service done. Com I mean, perfect. Perfect service, if you ask me. Can't beat it. You mean? Again, Toadfish. Jackie and your staff, thank you very much for a brand new reel. Again, WWJ whipping with Joe. Toadfish combo with a 3000. Fitted with 8 pound mono. Aloha.